It can be seen everywhere now, from like music videos to advertising and feature films. You just need to know what you're looking for. Once people know what they're looking for, you can find it anywhere you actually look. And the way everything's going with it at the moment, it's expanding and getting bigger, and it's just so exciting to think where it's going to go in the next couple of years. It isn't just something people practice, it's something people love. I wake up in the morning and I'm physically like excited to do this, to be a part of this. When you put it all together, it's just a really beautiful, intricate art form. My name's Jericho Hills, I'm 19 years old and I'm visiting Trigger. My name is Hakan Manav, I'm 24 years old and I'm a Sydney tricker. I'm Blade Hills, I'm 19 years old and I'm a Sydney tricker. Well, tricking can be explained as an aesthetic blend of kicks, flips and twists that when put together by the practitioner, expresses themselves through movement. It originated from the sport karate scene, I'd say in the 90s. Our competitors would try to one-up each other in their creative forms by implementing moves from other styles of movement in order to better their forms. A well-rounded tricker has to know how to do every aspect of tricking. Right? So you have to have good kicks, good flips and good twists. Kicks are very important, that, that's where, you know, that's the background of the sport, that's the root of tricking. So kicks, flips and twists. Me personally, I don't have that good of twists, but I know my kicking's pretty strong, so that's why I like to do more. But you need to have everything. Our style and technique go hand in hand because without one you can't have the other, I believe, you know, especially technique. You know, when you're learning something, you first learn the technique and then each individual will naturally have it, their own style and individualism. Uh, different people can do the same trick and make it something completely different due to the way they express themselves. Tricking, you can just be yourself. It's just me out there, you know? Tricking is very artistic, I find, because I get to express myself. Uh, tricking definitely encourages creativity and style for every individual involved, you know? Each person will have their own little spin or have their own little take on performing a move which then uh, can be translated through a larger combination, making the combination have more style and flamboyancy. For me, tricking is definitely about self-improvement because, you know, if you didn't feel yourself improve, why would you keep doing it, you know? That, that's the main thing. Then falling, I fall over more than anyone else I know. But it's important for me and everyone else around me to just keep going, you know? If you fall over, you get back up. That's, that's the game. For an up-and-coming tricker that's really trying to find where they're coming from, I would just tell them basically work on all the basic aspects and the foundations of each trick and then go and experience it, you know. Go to a different country or if you're too young for that, go to gatherings, meet as many trickers as you can to get the ideal feel for what the community's like and see where you want to take it. There are people from all different nationalities, uh, religions, countries and the great thing about tricking is through, through national gatherings, international gatherings, it brings all these people together to so just trick and have a great time. I enjoy tricking because I get to express myself. Um, artistically, it's very motivating, you know, you can push yourself to do new things, different things, alternative things. And once it gets the recognition it deserves, it's going to be like unstoppable. Tricking has provided me with a lot of benefits, you know, personally I enjoy the, the mental and physical challenge, you know, I like to push myself as far as I can just to get as good as I can. Professionally, I enjoy tricking because I can implement it in my job as a martial arts instructor and through performances and I like to travel around the world and meet new people through gatherings. Well, at the moment, everything I'm doing in my life is revolving around it. Like, for enjoyment, I trick. For work, I trick. It's fantastic. And the enjoyment aspect is just so much higher than anything else I've done before. Like, I used to surf and skate, but tricking just gives me more. And it really lets me be me and just express myself honestly and completely, as Bruce Lee said.